Thank you. Right, thank you. I'm curious. What is the best thing you've seen someone find here yet? Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Casey, also better known as the Carolina Hustler here on YouTube. Hey guys, today's video, I'm going to take y'all into an Amazon restock store or return store. It's called the Bargain Bins. This place opened up like about a month ago or two, and it's a mile from my house, and this is the first time I've been in here. So I want to go in here and check it out, and I thought I'd film and do a YouTube video on it. Hopefully I can find some good stuff in here, so tag y'all along for the ride. So let's get in here and see what we can find. Crazy prices. Crazy deals. Well, we will see. Hey, how you doing? Just get a bag right here. What day is it? What dollar day is it? Two dollars. Oh wow! So everything's two dollars. Everything is two dollars. I don't know, you want to tell somebody they dropped yeah. it? Yeah, I'm going to leave. You got your wallet? Yay. I'm glad for you. It was right here. And this one. Thank you. Right, thank you. I'm curious. What is the best thing you've seen someone find in here yet? We found an Xbox. We found an Xbox? Yeah, and um, what was the other thing? Oh, there was a lot that was an ink pen that was worth $140. Oh, God. It was worth looking up. Um, a lot of people find a lot of stuff that, I mean, they resell it. They get yeah, it. oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, this went quite a bit. I'm trying to remember what the other big thing was. I took a picture of it. I can't remember. But yeah, it's Friday's the best day, though. Friday's the best day? I think. All right, that was an interesting, interesting trip in there. So we got two items. It's not my forte of place I like to shop for resale stuff because there's so much kind of, so much junk, which I mean, Goodwill's have junk too, but that place, I don't know, I feel like I can get in trouble with some of these items. I did get two items I'm gonna show y'all. And of course I found a lady's wallet in there. You feel good to give her back the wallet and she was in the store and she did come and tell me thank you. That made me feel great. So thumbs up for that, that's great. What did? I ain't gotta go home and take this out and show you. Man, it was a good idea to take it home and show you. So I did decide to stop by a local Goodwill not too far from the house and found some decent golf clubs in here that I will talk about later on in the video. So I did decide to stop by the hat rack in that Goodwill. Um, the tailor-made hat caught my eye 
I looked through the hat rack to see if there was anything good in there. Um, didn't really see anything good. Um, I did see a Chick-fil-A hat right here. Um, didn't look up the sole comps. It looked pretty decent, um, but left it. And I did find this really cool Mizuno hat. Um, I did look it up, and the sole comps were about 12 bucks. Paying 2 bucks for it, um, it was only one sole comp, so I did leave it. So I did see this vintage looking shoe polisher over here. It looked interesting, but I did leave it, and I didn't even look it up. I probably should have. And then I did see a cast iron pot over here, and I didn't mess with it either. They wanted eight dollars for it, so did not decide to get that at all. All right, guys. So I'm back at the house, and I'm gonna show y'all what we picked up in the bargain bin Amazon return store. I got all right, guys. So I got two items that I found there. It was two dollars a day, so I got these for two bucks a piece. The first thing I got was the some Marvel Panthers muscle chest thorax muscle whatever costume for Halloween and it looked really cool and let's say it was from Kohl's anyway and I think this will trend to be a very popular costume come Halloween so for two dollars it was definitely worth the buy I'll say I probably should see at least twenty dollars or more I do see soul comps on it so not a bad buy there second item I picked up was a Disney Infinity Wreck-It Ralph figures this is on Penelope and of course Ralph with their little game pieces Everything's in the case. It's just the case is broken open. I'll probably sell it as used. This had some decent soul comps for, I mean, not, I'm going to get rich off of this, but I mean, for two bucks, I should sell this for at least 15 to 20. So not a bad find there. All right, guys. And if you've seen it in the clip, I did pick up some golf clubs. Um, I want to talk about them. Let's see. We got a teardrop. I haven't found one of these in a long time. This is a Wooten 2 teardrop putter. Um, it's got that roll face to it. Very popular. I think these sell for about 15 to 20 bucks. I may even keep this for my collection. It's in really good shape for most of them. Next item I picked up was this King Cobra S9 iron. This is a six iron to that set. And this golf club, I paid three bucks and it should go for probably around $20. All right, then I got four other golf clubs here. This is a Callaway Big Bertha 94 set. This is 94. The way to, be, to tell between the 94 and the 96 is this, the 94s, the numbers will be on the bottom. And 96 is they'll be inside that notch there. So these are the 1994. So they got steel shafts. And they all, I mean, I got the pitching wedge and the six iron. I tell you, I did notice that the, pitch, the pitching iron is actually bent. So shame on me. So they do sell for about 15 to 20 bucks a piece. So not too bad there for picking them up for three bucks. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. So I did want to go in the Amazon return store, show y'all what they had. Um, got some knowledge out of there. It looks like Friday's the best day, as you probably heard if I did show it. And if I didn't tell you, she said someone found an Xbox in there on Friday and some other cool items. So you do got to dig. It is a treasure hunt in there for sure. There's a lot of people in there doing resale. And, um, really cool place. So I will return maybe do a future video in the future on it. So, so guys, I appreciate y'all watching today. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like content like this, please consider subscribing. That'd be great as well. But anyway, guys, we appreciate y'all watching again, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya.